Coming up, we visit Hawes in North Yorkshire, explore a sea of bikes, enjoy the Wensleydale Creamery and hunt for England's highest single drop waterfall. This has been fantastic. Where are we today, Claire? Today we're at Hawes Camping and Motorhome Club site and we've got some special guests. Hi. Hi. Michael and Andrea, my mum and dad. So, we've come for the weekend. The sun's out for the first time this year. Got the dogs. And we're going to Wensleydale Creamery mm. to look at cheese. And last night we had a barbecue. We did. It was very pleasant. It was a successful barbecue. Very good. Time. Slow and steady. So where are we? Are we in there, Yorkshire Dales? We're in, are we in the Yorkshire Dales? Yeah, I think we're in the Yorkshire Dales. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. For a start. So we're going to look at some cheese and then what we're doing. Yeah, and then we're going to go to Hardraw Waterfall. Yeah. I've got a fact about that. Go on. It's England's highest single drop waterfall. And I've got another fact about it. Go on. It's privately owned and it's in the car park of a pub. Oh. The Green Dragon. Well, that's handy. Isn't that interesting? Don't you have to pay? Yes, it's £4 each. So what do we think to this site then? Do we like it? It's lovely, yeah. It looks like it's a big site. One good thing about it, in those showers, you know them daft buckets. Yeah. <laughs> we know but people that deal. put lollipop sticks in them. In fact, can he? you can buy something on Amazon yeah, that, yeah, can, yeah. <laughs> that keeps it going. But it's very big and it was it's full. It was full last night. Yeah. What, the toilet or the shower? Not the toilet, the site. You got your backpack today, Claire? Yeah. What you got in your backpack? Water for the dogs. Yeah. Because I thought if we're going up to this waterfall and it's hot, we need some water. At the waterfall. At the waterfall. And then that's pretty much it. You know you live rural when you've got a cattle grid on your drive. <laughs> <laughs> we turned left from the campsite and walked towards the town centre. We had a leisurely stroll that only lasted about 10 minutes, but we didn't mind. The scenery was beautiful. Are we buying some cheese, Claire? Yeah, we are buying some cheese. What is it, Wensleydale? Wensleydale Creamery, so... I don't know if there's lots of different types of Wensleydale. I don't know. It's very narrow, isn't it? Old fashioned, yeah. isn't it? Look at the sign at the top. After a rubbish start to summer, the sun was finally out and we were ready to see what Hawes had to offer. As we entered the town, we discovered charming narrow streets and a few quaint shops waiting to be explored. We came across a quaint bridge over Gale Beck, a fast-flowing stream of water that runs under the Pennine Way. We're a lovely place to have a house. Oh, this is really nice. I wonder what your insurance is like for flooding. Yeah. I thought we would just thought that. How sad is that? Always look on the bright side. Whoa. We're going there later, yeah, definitely. Oh, you will sing, uh, you spin me right round. Yeah. Then that goes in there. It wasn't long before we started to hear the sound of motorbikes and meet some of the friendly locals. We stumbled across the White Hart pub in the old knackers yard, which looked like a good place to cool down on a hot day like today, but we were on a cheese mission, so we gave it a miss this time. Really quaint, very pretty. There's actually quite a lot of antique shops here. Yeah. We've seen about four or five cafes, so we should go to a cafe and this is the way to the creamery. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Look at that old thing. Pretty cool, I think. I think Michael's fact checking. I think now. he's looking for a fact. 
you find any facts out? Go on then. The staff was in 1307 and we registered the town in 1510. Part of the parish of Aysgarth. Ah. Oh. Now we drove through Aysgarth to get here. There's a market here on Tuesday. Right. Today is Sunday. <laughs> and it's not even 12 o'clock. Buzzing. Yeah, it is buzzing, yeah. Lots of outside seating areas. Indian. So, yeah, we've seen four or five pubs. Seen loads of Lots pubs. Lots of this pubs. Is a great little place if you want to go on a session. It's what we like to see. Ready to book some pause. Yeah. You could go on the right bender here. Yeah? I like streaking like this. A heavy metal thunder. Racing with the wind. And the feeling that I'm under. You're not gonna make it happen. All the world is a loving place. Follow the guns and watch them. Explode in the space. I rate Hawes a 9 at the moment. What do you rate Hawes? I rate it 10. 10? 10 plus. 10 plus. It's also special you've got a little dog in the video. Yes. What's the plus for though? What's the, what's the plus mean? I think it's beautiful. And what about you? <laughs> I, I won't want to rate Hawes in front of me in laws. <laughs> Nice burst in the veil up. I think that could be the similar one that we looked at. 726, it's a bit longer, isn't it? Oh, I can see the sign, it is just there, look. So a car park for the creamery. It's paying display. Is it the actual creamery, this then? Yeah. You see that? Yorkshire cheese on toast, we're having some, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it. You have a little look round then, while I queue. Wensdale Creamery, located in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, has a rich history dating back to 1897. Originally established by local farmers, the creamery has been dedicated to traditional cheesemaking methods for over a century. It became especially famous for Wensdale cheese, a product deeply rooted in the region's heritage. Creamery produces a variety of cheeses, with their flagship being the real Yorkshire Wensleydale. This cheese is renowned for its crumbly texture and fresh, clean flavour, with a hint of honey. Other notable varieties include Wensleydale with cranberries, Blue Wensleydale, and Wensleydale with apricots, each offering a unique twist on the classic recipe. Owned and operated by a team passionate about preserving traditional cheesemaking techniques. Wensdale Creamery sources its milk from local farms, ensuring high quality and sustainability. The production process involves meticulous attention to detail, from pasteurising the milk to handcrafting and aging the cheese to perfection. Visitors to the creamery can tour the facility to see the cheese making process first hand. Enjoy cheese tasting sessions and learn about the history and traditions that make Wensleydale cheese so special. The creamery also features a shop and a restaurant offering an array of local delicacies and of course their famous cheeses.
You back? Yeah. What's it like? Freezing in a cheese shop. It's what, freezing? Yeah. Is it? Guess what? what? You can try every single cheese, every single one of them. Every oh, single one. Did you try some? One. No, I thought we'd try them together. Shall we do that instead of getting this cheese on toast? Dad's gone in to have a look for some cheese. We're going to have a look for some cheese afterwards and then we're going to continue the tour. Air fever's off the chart, isn't it? Yeah. I think we've got the grasses, windy spot up. Pollen It's coming down from the valleys into here. So I've got sunglasses on. Gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. <sighs> Baby! <laughs> <laughs> so what, what kind of um, cheese are we going to go for? Creamy. We might go for uh, a Wensleydale. <laughs> we could get a nice creamy one. Did you say that you can try it? Yeah, every single cheese, every single one has got some cheese that you can try. That's, that's lunch sorted. Oh yeah. We've got a little problem. We've got one that wants to rub in it, one wants to eat it. What do you want to do? Get away from it. I'm talking about sheep poo, by the way. Leave it alone. We have some right trots after that. Not half. Now what? Hello. You look good with dogs, would you like to take hours for the day, please? <laughs> Come on, Pabs. All right, all right. Come on, good boy. Not entirely sure what we do next. Oh, no, I know. There's a turning on the left-hand side somewhere. That's the rest of the Pennine Way. Are we going to hard draw? Yeah. A hard draw, use bridge, then the gate on the left. We're further over. I knew it was left. Yeah. I think I get my facts from you, Dad, my fact skills. As a Boy Scout, I always come prepared. Yeah? Now look, just in case. Then we talk rules. <laughs> Andrew and all his friends. <laughs> yeah, these two. It's all you need. Man's best friend. It's an old time bit. That's my name. Don't make it up. Hello. Hi. You're welcome. Yeah, I think you picked the wrong dog. Calm down, Dory. <coughs> where were it, Claire? Where I think it were in North Berwick, where that so that woman walking down beach with one of them papooses on, but kids were about twelve. Yeah. Like this. It yeah, it massive, was a bit wasn't silly, it? Really, wasn't it? They were a fully grown like adolescent, and she's carrying it on a papoose. She might be doing bitty. I'm interested to see where this waterfall appears from, because... I've told you where it is, it's in a pub car park. Wow! But, you know, if it's a big drop, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's England's biggest single drop. Yeah, all onto my shoulder and then... Yeah, yeah, I've got you. I'll slip. We walk to the Green Dragon Inn in Hardraw, a picturesque 30-minute walk across fields home to cows and sheep. The Green Dragon is a historic pub with roots that trace back several centuries, offering a glimpse into the area's rich past. Historically, the Green Dragon Inn served as a coaching inn, providing food, drink and lodgings to weary travellers journeying through the rugged landscape. 
Over the years, it has retained much of its traditional charm, featuring open fireplaces, wooden beams and a cosy, rustic atmosphere. Together. Off to the waterfall. This way. You two are guys. So Andrew, behind here, yeah, there is a, a is it a hundred foot waterfall? Three hundred, you told me. Oh, three hundred foot waterfall. Oh look, thirteen oh two. Now that's before Henry, before Henry the Eighth. Oh, I thought you meant Henry Uber. Another fact. Yeah. This waterfall was used in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Look at that statue. Oh, no, it's moving. <laughs> I'm just still totally shocked about this. Whereabouts is it? Entrance there, look. You can't even see where it is. I'm getting a bit dubious about this. Well, there's no drop, is there? Well, there must be. There's got to be, because it's a waterfall. There's a nice church there, though. Heritage Centre. I'm a bit shocked that there's a waterfall here. Oh, welcome. The waterfall is privately owned and maintained, hence the charge. It's got to be close, it's not far. Well, it's nice and cool here. We need the coolness, don't we? Look at that rabbit there. Is that a rabbit? I couldn't see what see it was. It? Yeah. It was a big Beautiful, twig. Isn't it? Look at it, it's really tame as well. It's not a rabbit, that's why. <laughs> I knew it was a twig. I think that's why she laughed when you said, Oh, you won't think a waterfall where it is, because it's not. It's, it's not, yeah. Miles away. <laughs> I think we'll do the 300 yard one, shall we? Yeah. What a lovely path. I love a good path. <laughs> oh, look at this warning sign. Ooh. Entering ground do so at their own Don't risk. Walk near their overhanging rock. The owners can't be held responsible. Oh, that's the walk then. The Up there, there's a. No. I do not. Oh, that's like them um, circles that they had. Drop circle. I can hear water. So Kevin Costner's been here. It's here. This is amazing. Up. Oh, I can see it. <laughs> Anybody got a plumber's number? You would never think that was there, would you? No. That's, I'm quite impressed by that. I am. Beautiful. Good if you find, go to Hall's campsite, you wouldn't think that, you just would not think that was there, would you? Look at that. That is amazing. I'm quite excited about that. Yeah. Wow, hey, look at that. Hardwell Force is England's highest single drop waterfall, standing at approximately 100 feet. The water volume varies with the seasons, creating a dramatic and powerful display during wetter periods. This iconic waterfall has a rich cultural history, being a popular tourist attraction for centuries. 
It's famously featured in the 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, where Kevin Costner's Robin Hood bathes under the falls. Hardro Forest is situated on private land managed by the Green Dragon Inn. Visitors traditionally access the falls through the inn, ensuring a preserved and controlled environment. The setting is a beautiful wooded ravine, surrounded by lush greenery and rocky outcrops, making it a favourite spot for nature lovers, hikers and photographers. Besides its Hollywood fame, Hardraw Force has appeared in various other media, enhancing its reputation as a scenic and iconic natural landmark. The path to the falls from the Green Dragon Inn is a short, pleasant walk offering a serene escape into the natural beauty of the Yorkshire Dales. This has been fantastic. If you're in the area, come to Hard Row Force. How much does it cost to get in? Four pounds. Each. Each. Short dogs walk. Are, dogs are free. Yeah. So there's two options. You can take the 300 yard walk straight to the force, or you can do a mile round walk, but we took this easy option. Well worth coming though, isn't it? Yeah. It's worth four pounds. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Well, today's medium. What well, today's what? Medium. medium. Medium pressure. So that's not even high. Imagine seeing the red arrows over here. I know. Oh, wow. This week's episode is brought to you from the Chelsea Flower Show. Oh, Pablo. Pablo, you've just been to the groomers. Well, we've enjoyed our day, haven't we? Oh, we love it here. It's been really nice to it's see everything great. and the scenery is off the chart. Plenty to do here is what I would say. Yeah. If you come, you need more than one night, really. Yeah, so, so much to do here. Anyway, we're going to head back. And we're gonna have some tea. regroup and then go and get some tea. <laughs> There'll be six red Indians come over the hill, isn't there? <laughs>